Pinworm infections can affect anyone, especially children. There are 40 million infected persons in the US right now. Most infected individuals have few to several hundred adult worms. But don't worry, we'll provide you with all the information you need to understand, treat, and prevent them. I'm your host, Meg Conover, physician associate, and let's get started. If you like this content, feel free to check out some other videos on the platform. I've covered things like lice, ear infections, strep throat, pink eye, and other contagious illnesses that kids are gonna see once they return to school. Let's begin with the basics. Pinworms are tiny, white, thread-like worms that infest the intestines and rectum and can cause discomfort and itching around the anus. They're also called enterobiasis, and it is the most common worm infection in the United States and Western Europe. There are 40 million infections persons in the US right now. Pinworms are highly contagious and they easily spread from person to person. The microscopic eggs can be found on surfaces like doorknobs, toys, clothing, and can be ingested when the hands come into contact with these surfaces. Transmission is quickest when people are living in close, crowded conditions, and it's common within households. Pinworm is observed most frequently among school children aged five to 10 years old, and it's relatively uncommon in children under two. The cycle begins when the eggs are deposited by a pregnant adult female worm on the folds next to the anus. Self-infection occurs by scratching the anal area and transferring the eggs into the mouth with contaminated hands. Person-to-person -person transmission can occur by eating food touched by contaminated hands or by handling contaminated clothes, bed linens, touching doorknobs. Infection may also be acquired via contact with other surfaces like curtains or carpeting that are contaminated with eggs. In addition, eggs may become airborne, inhaled, and swallowed. Following ingestion, the eggs hatch. The worms establish themselves in the GI tract. The time interval from ingestion of eggs to the female laying egg is about a month. Each female can produce 10,000 or more eggs. The lifespan of the adult is two to three months. Most infected individuals have few to several hundred adult worms. Pregnant female worms move through the anus and the anal skin to deposit eggs. This usually happens at night and can cause itching. The larvae inside the eggs generally mature within four to six hours. The infective worms survive one to 14 days. Surprisingly, most people don't have symptoms. The most common symptom of a pinworm infection is itching around the anus, especially at night. This can even cause lack of sleep if it gets bad enough. Other symptoms include restless sleep, irritability, and sometimes worms that are visible in the stool. Scratching leads to lodging of the eggs beneath the fingernails, causing increased self-infection infection or person-to-person -person transmission. Secondary bacterial infections can result if scratches are severe or leave open wounds around the anus. Occasionally, the number of worms is so high that stomach pain, nausea, and vomiting develop. If you suspect a pinworm infection in your child, it's essential to consult a healthcare professional. They may conduct a simple tape test where a piece of clear tape is pressed against the skin around the anus to collect eggs for examination. The diagnosis can be established in one of the following ways. Visual inspection of the anus and underwear, where mobile worms are sometimes visible. The white pin-shaped female pinworm, 8 to 13 millimeters long, may look like bits of cotton thread and can be confirmed by laboratory identification and under a microscope. Scotch tape test to the anus is best done in the morning. Apply a piece of scotch tape to your child's anus. Remove it and look at the tape. See if you see moving, cotton-like pieces, which may be the worms. Samples collected from under fingernails may be analyzed for pinworm eggs. Stool examination is not useful since worms and eggs are generally not passed in the stool. They just hang out around the anus. The good news is that pinworm infections are usually treatable and not considered serious. Doctors may prescribe a single dose of over-the-counter or prescription medication to eliminate the worms. It's essential to treat all household members and follow treatment instructions carefully. In confirmed cases, treatment of the entire household is warranted regardless of symptoms. In non-pregnant adults and children, one of the treatment prescriptions is called albendazole. Adults and children will take 400 milligrams by mouth once on an empty stomach and repeat it in two weeks. Another option is mebendazole. Similar medication, 100 milligrams orally once, repeat in two weeks. Another option, pyrantel, pemboate. Adults and children, 11 milligrams per kilogram and repeat in one to two weeks. Available over the counter. Regimens have been associated with cure rates of 90 to 100 percent in a number of studies. If you are pregnant, treatment is reserved for severe cases. Please consult your doctor if someone in your household 
has pinworms. Prevention is key to avoiding pinworm infections. Encourage frequent hand washing, especially after using the bathroom and before meals. Keep fingernails short to minimize egg collection and wash clothes, bedding, and towels frequently, especially during and after treatment. Showering is preferred over taking a bath because showering avoids potential contamination of bath water and with pinworm eggs. Proper cleaning practices are vital in preventing the spread of pinworms. Disinfect high touch surfaces regularly, such as doorknobs, light switches, and toys. And don't forget to vacuum and dust your home frequently. Sometimes pinworm infections can recur, so be vigilant and follow preventative measures even after treatment. Avoid scratching the anal area to prevent the spread of eggs. Finally, I wanna address any feelings of embarrassment or shame that may arise with pinworm infections. Remember, they are common and anyone can get them. Seek medical advice without hesitation as prompt treatment is essential for your child's well-being and the well-being of the rest of the household. There you have it, a comprehensive guide to pinworms. Knowledge is power, and now you're equipped to handle pinworm infestations with confidence. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe for more informative content. Thanks for watching, and stay healthy.